Long ago, before the creation of the world as we know it, there was a vast and wondrous kingdom in the heavens ruled by the Almighty God. This kingdom was home to countless angels who lived in harmony, serving their Creator with utmost devotion and singing praises to His name. One of these angels was named Azazel. He was a mighty warrior, fiercely loyal to God, and respected by his fellow angels for his strength and courage. Azazel was one of the most trusted and honored of all the angels, and he spent his days serving God and carrying out his will. However, one day, something changed within Azazel. He began to question the authority of God, wondering why he and his fellow angels should be bound to serve him for all eternity. He started to feel a sense of restlessness and discontentment, believing that he deserved more power and autonomy. Azazel's doubts soon spread to other angels, and a group of them banded together to challenge God's authority. They believed that they could create a better kingdom, one that would be ruled by them instead of God. This rebellion grew stronger and more widespread, with more and more angels joining the cause. God, who was all-knowing and all-seeing, recognized what was happening and warned the rebel angels of the consequences of their actions. He reminded them of his power and the importance of obedience, but the rebels refused to listen, convinced that they could succeed. In the end, God had no choice but to banish the rebel angels from the heavens, casting them down to the earth below. This punishment was severe and the fallen angels were devastated to find themselves cut off from the paradise they once knew. As they wandered the earth, the fallen angels began to feel the full weight of their rebellion. They were consumed by their pride and their desire for power, and they began to manipulate and influence humanity, causing chaos and destruction wherever they went. They reveled in their newfound sense of autonomy, but they also knew that they could never return to the heavens. Despite this, one of the fallen angels, Azazel, began to feel a sense of remorse for what he had done. He realized the error of his ways and sought forgiveness from God, hoping to one day return to the kingdom he had lost. God, moved by Azazel's sincere remorse, allowed him to return to the heavens. This was a momentous event as no fallen angel had ever been forgiven before. Azazel was welcomed back with open arms by his fellow angels, who were overjoyed to see their once mighty comrade restored to grace. Over time, more and more fallen angels began to follow Azazel's example, repenting and seeking forgiveness from God. They realized that true power did not come from rebellion and defiance, but from humility and submission to a higher authority. The return of the fallen angels to the heavens was a long and difficult process, but it was ultimately successful. The kingdom was restored to its former glory, and the angels sang praises to God once again. And so, the story of the fallen angels serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of pride and the importance of humility. It also reminds us that no matter how far we may stray, it is never too late to seek redemption and forgiveness.